If you want to get more lag and power in your golf swing, you need to watch this video. Welcome to me and my golf TV. We're here at the Asprey, helping you to take charge of your game. Okay, so today's question comes through Facebook from Wolfram Hundhammer from Munich, Germany. What a name that is, Pierce. That's my favourite, for sure. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about an early release. Now, Wolfram's struggling, saying that he struggles with an early release, but he's trying to hold on to the lag, but finding that his arms are getting too tense and he's struggling to keep the softness in the arms. Yeah. So, um, first of all, just to, before we go into sort of talking about the drill that we're going to give you, Wolfram, let's just go through what an early release is for the rest of the yeah. viewers at home. Yeah, what well, is we an see early this, release? We see this a lot, but the early release, the best way to describe it is when we swing back, we create an angle between the shaft and the lead forearm. What we want to do, sorry, what the early release is, that we lose that angle too early on the downswing. So we create the angle, but then we lose it too early, causing all manner of hideous golf shots. It's going to affect the power, the trajectory, the contact, a number of things that yeah. it has a big Accuracy effect on. Accuracy as well, the whole lot. Definitely. So what do we want to see, Pierce? Okay, so the angles we create, we want to hold on to them. So if we don't early release, we want to hold on to those angles for longer and then release them later in the day. Something common you see in all the top guys, they all maintain that good Just lag it, aren't they? In, the, yeah. in the shaft there. And it's a big thing, a very hard thing to change, but it's a really important thing to be able to create that power and that a good trajectory that these top guys are getting as well. For sure, for sure. Okay, so uh, Pierce, we need a draw for Wolfram. We do. Okay, what is it? What can? What is it? We going to be, have uh... the load, store, and explode. Okay, sounds drill. really interesting. <laughs> What's going on with that name? But yeah, brilliant, fantastic. So, very similar to what we just said there. Then that we want to create the backswing. So we we have a loading area here. So we load the backswing, and then from there we store the wrist cock. And then from there, we explode. So what you'll notice is, as I load, create the angle. There's the angle there. I store and keep hold of that angle. And then as I explode, I create another angle on the other side so of the swing. We're releasing the club a lot later. So we release the club. We hear that word a lot, release. Yep. But rather than releasing it over here, yeah, yeah. we're releasing it through the correct area. Yes, for sure, for sure. So just go into your backswing, Pierce, just a quick one. So there's the, there's, the, there's the drill, and it sounds like that what you're trying to do here, Wolfram, is you're trying to hold this lag. If you keep coming down, keep yeah. coming down, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. And you're trying to hold this for as long as possible. Well, that's where the tension's coming now. Yeah. At some stage, you have to release that golf club. And this explode section yeah, yeah, of, the, of yeah. the drill is where we <laughs> release that golf club and let the tension go in the arm. Mm -hmm. So, Pierce, just do that one more time, and then okay. we'll get you his shot. Okay, so load. And I, I think you mentioned there the tension. Really important. Keep your hands as soft as possible. Um, I always look at Sergio Garcia and seeing the club down here, and he talks about loose grip pressure all the time, allowing the club to come down here creates that lack of early release. And all this lag is, Wolfram, is just the trailing of the golf club, yeah? The, the lower body leads, the upper body, the upper body leads, the arms, so it's just having that trail of the golf club to do, so. The looser you are, the more trail you get, I Definitely. Believe. So let's do a backswing, load, store, explode. Okay. And then we want to see one blended as well, Pierce. Load, store, explode. Okay, okay. blend one in. Yep. So. Right. Looks easy. That sounded good as well, didn't okay, it? Okay, I want to see a new shot there. doing it now. I want to see right. the shot. Let's have a go, yeah? Okay. So load, store, and explode. Soft arms. Let's give it a go. Very good. And you can see that club releasing past you, Pierce, there. That. Yeah. And, and this That's is, nice. I know that for, for your golf swing, yeah. Pierce, again, would tend to hold on to the lag a little bit too much. So actually, Pierce, you need to be practicing this a little bit more. I need to be doing more. load, store, and more, more explode, explode please, more for explode. me. Okay, Wolfram, hope that helps. It's a great drill to help give you the feeling of softening those arms up, but also maintaining the trail for of that sure, golf club and sure. creating the lane. I think that's a great drill for him, but we have got other drills, haven't we, Andy? Yes, At we have. At the website, so meandmygolf.com. Um, go and have a look. We've got the link here. Go and have a look, see if there's any more drills there to help with that. Lots more with plenty of other swing faults as well. Give so us your please feedback. check it out. We'd love you to, to get your feedback on it. Hope that helps, guys. Post your comments down below as usual, and we look forward to seeing you next time on Me and My Golf TV.